Logophiles of the HQ Universe. Welcome to HQ Words! I am your host, a word aficionado, a nerd, and a Royceman. Hey, guess what? You can find me here all over social media, babe. Okay, it's Tuesday night. We're two days away from Valentine's Day. Are we fans of Valentine's Day or not? I want to see in the chat right now. This is a poll I'm taking. A red heart for yes, a black heart for no. Throw them in there. Let me see. Red heart, black heart, which side are you on? If you're planning to buy some flowers or chocolates this week, here's some help. Tonight's prize is $1,000. I love orchids, roses, and peonies. Okay, thank you. Oh, we got red hearts coming in. Yeah, I love you too. We're a fan of Valentine's Day. Okay, now is the time for your free letter. Spin the wheel around my face. Ooh, check it out. I'm a famous work of art. Yes, I am. You just transported me to a museum. Okay, but seriously, whatever letter it landed on will show up at the beginning of any puzzle. Yes, that art exhibit was free. Are you ready to kick this thing off? It's time for the first puzzle. Here we go. The faster you solve, the more money you can win. You got this. We're ready to do it. Your first hint is drawing tool. Here's a hot tip. Type in the letters N, Y, and R on the keyboard below. If you have kids, I bet you have these. They come in a lot of colors. Okay, they're fun to use. As long as you don't draw on the walls. You got this. The drawing tool puzzle one is a crayon. Love crayons, 190,721. You got it, right? You drawn me a photo, a picture right now? I was gonna say photo. 10,600 eliminated on crayon. I remember all the crayon colors. Remember burnt sienna? That was a color I remember. Cool. The more beautiful colors in the world, the better the world will be. Oh, I wish I could keep this thing bright and sweet, but I'm afraid your next hint is bad luck omen. This is something that a lot of superstitious people believe in, but it's just an omen, okay? If you see one of these crossing the street, don't worry about it. I promise you, it's gonna be okay. Some people have these as pets. But the bad luck omen is a black cat. They're beautiful, but people think you're gonna have bad luck if you see a black cat. Nonsense, 182,300 solved it, 9,027. You must have seen a black cat because you got eliminated. No, I'm kidding, I'm sure you didn't. I don't believe in that omen. Okay, remember a few minutes ago when you were notified that we were live? Wasn't that a great feeling? Oh, it was for me. But I want you to type in this annoying notification. This one isn't fun because it prevents you from being able to go online on your phone. However, sometimes, if you think about it, that's kind of a blessing, right? Annoying notification. Oh, this is annoying. I hope it didn't happen to you. I'm sure it didn't because you're playing right now. But if it did, you have no service. No service is the answer. 117,000 solved the puzzle. 65,000 are eliminated on no service. Do you not have service? Are you on your phone? You're just walking around your house right now looking for service. You know when people do that? <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? When you're just trying to go from corner to corner to find the best service. Hey, speaking of walking around your house looking funny, looking for service, what's this cozy footwear? I love wearing these. They feel great. It's like having stuffed animals on your feet. And you don't have to be a kid to wear these, okay? I don't care what age you are, you hop around the house with these on. But I mean hop. Cozy footwear. Everyone should have a pair of these. Maybe not these specifically. I'm talking about bunny slippers. You have any slippers? Do they have bunny ears on them? So cute. 91,212 solved the puzzle. 30,500 eliminated on bunny slippers. Oh, I love good bunny slippers or any fuzzy slipper, right? Are you wearing slippers right now? Do you ever wear them out of the house? Hey, wordies, I dare you to take a walk and wear them at the post office. But let's think about why you're there, right? You probably need to do something with mailing. You definitely need these if you're mailing letters, and I'm talking about multiple letters. 
But, you know, if it's just one letter, at least you'll have backup. You ever been to the post office? It's a very normal thing to do there. Because you're buying a sheet of stamps. Where else are you going to get a sheet of stamps? You're going to get it at the post office. 76,200 are still in the game. 17,055, unfortunately, did not get my mail. They are out of the game. I sent a letter. Did you get my letter in the mail? It says, dear word lover, you're so smart. You just made it halfway through the game, baby. Love, Anna Reutzman. Only five to go until that sweet HQ words jackpot. Okay, I believe in you, right? I am sitting here, or I'm standing here, rooting for you. I feel seen on the sidelines. This is something you'll definitely see during a halftime show of a sporting event. It's something fun. You hold it with your hands. Have you solved it yet? Ready? Okay. I hope you're solving the puzzle. Ready? Okay, the answer is cheerleader pom-poms. Did you like my, my cheer there? Here's a cheer. 45,613, you solved the puzzle, and 32,221, goodbye. Go HQ. That was my cheerleading uh, character for HQ words. <laughs> Can you tell I was in the band? I was in the band. Hey, do you ever finish a long day of work and think, there's no way I'm going to cook tonight? I feel you. You are not alone. What's the takeout order tonight? Ooh, I love taking out food. This is a delicious one, okay? With some protein, some noodles, a good sauce. Woo! I love when they throw in some snap peas. You like snap peas? You know what I'm talking about. I am in the mood for Chinese food. What's on the takeout order? Well, at the top of this list, it says uh, shrimp chow mein. Do you like shrimp chow mein? 35,368. You just ordered some shrimp chow mein. 13,633. You're out of the game. Not even a dumpling left. Nothing else on the table. Woo, I just got hungry. But you know what I'm in the mood for, Wordies? I'm in the mood more for a trip. Anywhere in the world, okay? Meet me at the airport and make sure you pack smart enough for this travel storage. There's not a ton of room here, okay? And bags need to meet the requirement to go here. Plus, whatever you put here, you won't have access to until we take off. But then you can use it, you can go in there until we land. Lots of rules. And the answer is overhead compartment. Overhead compartment, 30,411. Solved it right, 6,500 are out of the plane. You just got out of the game, out of the plane on overhead compartment. Are you a person who uh, carries on or do you check bags? I check bags, I, I overpack, you gotta. Have you heard the word though? I'm a comedian. I hope that I make you laugh on this show from time to time, especially if I do this funny combo. That's your hint. Most comics that you like have used this combo, okay? It's a traditional format to performing comedy. And I know what you're waiting for. Should I tell you a joke now while you solve? Okay, here we go. What's black and white and red all over? Oh, so many people are guessing right now. I'll tell you, black and white and red all over, it's a newspaper. Because the answer was set up and punchline. That was your punchline, a newspaper. 13,971 solved the puzzle. Did 17,500 just get schooled on set up and punchline? You got schooled out of the puzzle. Oh, I'm sad to see you go. You don't like comedy? You ever heard of the setup and the punchline? Oh, it makes everyone laugh. That's how it's done. Okay, now that everyone's on their way to becoming a successful comedian, you're also on your way to becoming an official word nerd. You just made it to the final puzzle. You've got nine puzzles checked off, and now there's only one left until that prize money. Ooh, we started tonight with over 220,000 players. And now here we are at the grand finale. I hope I see this soon. Your hint is first sign of spring. Oh, I'm waiting for this to happen. Is this in your garden? Do you have this? 
it's one of the first signs that we have that spring is near. Okay, and I'm not talking about a groundhog. I'm talking about something that grows. It's very beautiful. And it's a crocus blooming in the snow. Here you go. before we even see anything else. And you know what? Before we even talk about anything else, I think we have to celebrate the fact that 3,556 players just won HQ words, baby. You're blooming like a flower. Woo, congratulations. Let's take a look at our top players in tonight's game. In first place, winning $100, Garfield Bins. Yeah, man. In second place, L Brule 24. You just got 75 bucks. Gramey. Uh, I don't know. Not a bot on Gramey. There you go. $150. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Congratulations. Guess what? That is the game for tonight. I want to congratulate all of the other winners, okay? Everyone who won a little piece of the prize tonight and our new HQ Words players who dropped by. Ooh, I wish we had more time together, but I want to go put on some bunny slippers, take out some shrimp chow mein, and send out some valentines, okay? I need to go get sheets of stamps to send them out. Remember snail mail? Woo! I'm Anna Royceman. Hey, send me a word up and follow me here on social media. Happy almost Valentine's. Valentine's Day, word lovers. I will see you back here tomorrow night, right after HQ Trivia, for another brand new game of HQ Words. Hey, have a great Tuesday night, nerds. Goodbye!